Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I did go to Bath and Body Works to see about the same semi-annual sale. It was okay. It wasn't hitting on anything, but I don't know. It just seems like, how can I say this? It's not great. You know, some repeats of scents were there. Even some new scents was out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the pictures of what I took in Bath and Body Works. And then I'm going to show you what I bought. And then I'm going to have a little conversation about something that I found out today. All right? All right. So stay tuned. into this little tiny 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 haul <laughs> okay so i did see this at um bath and body works it's called summertime surf it smells really good it has like a fresh clean scent kind of beachy but it's not too loud now i now what i do with my fragrance my fragrance sprays i don't put them on my body anymore because it irritates my skin and i feel like they put more alcohol and change their formula since the 90s so, I can't wear their fragrances anymore, but when I do find a light and fluffy or a nice, fresh and clean scent, I will snatch it up because I will use it to spray like my couches or uh, my, my, I use it for air freshener or I spray the boys' bathroom with it or my sheets. I just use it for other things like as a freshener, but I don't use it for my skin. So, if you are allergic to the spray, you can use the sprays. For other things, you know, for air freshener, freshening up your bed sheets, or um, and when you put them on your bed sheets, make sure that you're not going to bed anytime soon because you want it to dry and seep into the sheets and air out so that it doesn't be too strong when you get in the bed. All right, and just use it for a bathroom freshener, whatever. So that's what I use the fragrance sprays for, and this smelled really nice and clean. Um, let's see what is this, what's the notes. The notes are vanilla breeze, sea salt, sands, and sunny coconut. You do smell that coconut in there. Let me see if I can, if you can read it from here. Um, okay, vanilla breeze, sea salt, sands, and sunny coconut. And it says sun rays glisten on salt water waves. All right, so that's the notes in this. Now these hand um, sanitizer wipes. I got sunshine melon, excuse me, sunshine and lemons, and these were only, they were $8.50, but they were 75% off, so I only paid $2 for these. Um, you get 30 wipes in here, you get 30 wipes, and I got anti antibacterial hand wipes, sunshine and lemons, okay, so I got two of those, and I got two of the... Crisp morning air, and I do love that scent. So I have not tried these yet, but I will put them in my bag. So when I go to work and I need to like really clean my hands and I can't get to the bathroom in time because I'm on the floor, well, I will take I will have these on hand to wipe down my hands just to keep it clean and you know not sticky and everything like that. So I did get four packs. I got two lemon and two crisp morning air, and I love the crisp morning air. Now, I might get some more. I'm not sure. I'm going to see if they have them online. And if they don't, maybe I'll go back to the store and see if they got some. Now, the, the air, the, not air freshness, but the war flowers, these were, um, these are the war flowers refill. 
and these were three dollars and fifty cents so i got sun drenched so let me see how many sun drenched i got this is one right here sun drenched and this is a fresh clean linen scent so that's one two oh that's laundry day laundry day and this is three so i got three sun drenched linen and three laundry days okay so that's what i got because they didn't have any like good choices and stuff like that so i was like hmm, let me just get those as if i need any more air fresheners or wallflowers because i have a lot and one day i will do a, a collection video so you can see how much of these i do have so i got my wallflowers i got this spray and i forgot to tell you guys that this spray was four dollars and 95 cents and i used my gift card um, I had a $35 gift card, and all of this came up to $37. So all I had to pay out of my pocket was $2.01. Hmm. Isn't that lovely? Yes, it is. So um, I don't know how well this, like, this, you know, how well it's going to go. But I think they could have did better. I, you know, you keep seeing repeats of stuff, like old scents come back and, you know, be part of the SAS. SAS sale and um I want something different you know but they did I I can say that some summertime surf is different for me and you probably saw some new stuff if you watch through the video of the the pictures before you got to this video so anyway guys let me know how you know what your thoughts are on this semi-annual sale now let's talk about behind the scenes stuff so i know someone that works at a bath and body she's a manager and we've been cool for a very long time so i was asking her some questions about you know what's coming out for the fall and you know blase blase she did tell me some things or something she cannot tell me because when you're a bath and body works worker you cannot you know be putting stuff out there like that it's for a reason it's for the, the manager and the you know employees only you're not really supposed to be sharing stuff online from what she told me and plus i used to work in bath and body works so yeah um so she was saying how you know there, there's going to be some repeats from last year you know from last year and um and some new stuff so you know they always do that they'll throw out the they'll bring back the old and then amongst the old stuff they'll have something new which is kind of cool which is kind of cool now last year i tried to get my hands on it was the hand that was hold the hand that holds the candle and let me just tell you something it sold out so quick it was ridiculous and i feel that it'd be some of the bath and body works employees snatching it up as well as the resellers so they can sell it at a higher price on etsy or not at, well etsy ebay um what's the other one macari you know, and stuff like that. Poshmark. You know, they have a reselling business, so that's what they're going to be in it for. And I'm not knocking a hustle, but my goodness, you know, can we get some too? But I end up still getting some great stuff for Halloween last year Um, for the 75% off. Like I got two badass skull heads that light up. And, and when by the time I purchased those, it was on a semi-annual sale. And I think I got those things for $7 each. From $69 to $7, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. So I was pretty happy about that. So with both of them, they were $14 and change. So I was happy with that. But I'm going to say this. For those of you who work for Bath & Body Works, I'm not sure what your rules are for your store. But just be careful. You know, if you know something that's coming out first, that's cool. You know, you know, you know. But just make sure you CYA. All right? Cover yourself just in case some ish pop off. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got for right now. Um, I know I have not been doing hauls on this channel. And basically, you're not going to really see any until Halloween. And I'm not sure if I'm going to share any of my Halloween stuff over here. Because I do have a Halloween channel just for all my Halloween stuff. So, it is what it is. Okay? But I, I'm still going to be sharing content over here. I'm still going to be sharing content. But anyway, if you you know participated in the SAS sale, let me know... Um, 
how you like it. I didn't see any white t-shirt fragrance. All I saw was the fresh cotton. Um, I saw some other stuff. But anyway, if you saw the pictures before this, you, you saw what I saw, basically. All right, you guys. I got to get up out of here, but I will talk to you later. Have a good one.